Right, so that's the thing. It actually anyone makes anyone very who, uh, good sense. Anyone geometric who, edge. The geometric yeah. edge. Anyone who was in Flat Earth before the Black Swan would have walked away and think, ugh, that was Flat Earth. Lunacy. Got nothing. Come back now and have no geometry. How, right, do, you but, how do you feel but, about that? The, the Black Swan you know, proves... The Black Swan proves the round Earth. Sciences, how do you feel about that? Hold on, Wallaby. Okay, so... um, chemo, chemo. Geo means what? Oh, for... look. Geo. The word it's geo, a... what does it mean? We're looking for the geometric. Yeah, I'm just trying to break down. You said we have no geometry, so we have no geometry. No, no, what you have, well, I mean, you have no maths, no calculations, no measurements. So like, remember that back in the old days, it was like... Geo, geom, geom, geometry, the word, means earth metry measurement. Earth measurement. There are no earth measurements. We have no geometry. Tons. Hmm? No, no. This yeah, is what tons I'm trying to Look, you're coming from 2015-16 era. We're now 2021. A lot has changed since you've been away. It's a broken record, mate. There's nothing... I was waiting for something new and exciting to look at, like... You know that the vacuum. Yeah, not going that's, to get there's it. nothing new. I haven't well, seen anything new yet. No. Well, explain why there was no geometry. Show me something new. Where's the, why is there no geometry? No Earth measurement. Yes. Um, someone posted some Earth measurements just before that they did themselves, and they yeah, were all sort of correct. Like, that's all an assumption. No, it's not an assumption. They did actual measurements. They no, went the horizon. The horizon. Did you know that it moves? It fluctuates. The, the horizon is nothing to do with the shape of the earth. No, no, no. The horizon Chemo. has nothing to do with the shape of the earth. Oh, it has everything to do with the shape. You know, why? the horizon's shorter why? on the moon. What? You know, the horizon's shorter on the moon. Uh, duh. Or the body. There you go. You just oh, proved. Oh, the, you just proved, the you just proved the round, the roundness. <laughs> shorter body. <laughs> But you can laugh it Smaller up, body. laugh it up, Zysis, because today there is no geometric horizon. When things disappear bottom first, it's an apparent obstruction, not an actual obstruction. Geometric horizon is, uh, the other word for the geometric horizon is what? What are you going to do about this, Zysis? How are you going to um, rebuttal it? Got no geometric edge. Got no geometric You mean horizon. geodesic? Horizon, don't you? No, no. So if I'm uh, six foot, my geometric horizon will be three miles away. Things will disappear physically at three miles. But what we've got today, that that three mile horizon can now be one mile, ten miles, seven miles. No, no. Depending that's, that's ISIS on the atmosphere. No, Timo, you're misrepresenting. Yeah. Welcome to, to 1738. Starting to sink in, right? You're like, whoa. What do they mean there's no geometric? Yeah, there's no geometric horizon. The horizon is... Geodesic. Geometric horizon would be vanishing point, brother. No, we're talking yeah. about the horizon, the geometric point where things disappear for the observer. Geodesic. Well, you can call it whatever you like. But there is no point where things disappear bottom first. Yes, there is. It's all an apparent... <laughs> It's all an apparent obstruction. There's a geometric horizon. Chemo, chemo, chemo. We're, we're back in the same point. If it was a geometric horizon, then the horizon would always be, always, no matter what elevation you're at, it would always be at eye level. This no, no, is an no, old no, argument. No, it's an old argument. The horizon's and below your eye never, level. It is never at eye level. Yeah, it's the below higher you go, they, the horizon they drops don't... below yeah, eye level. Well, yes, yes. But that horizon... Below the horizontal plane. That horizon, mm. Isis, is not physical. No, of course it's not physical. Do you understand? Because Zysis, it's an, it's it's an apparent, it's an apparent, it's apparent. Yeah, you know it's all apparent. this, Wannabe. You've been around. Zysis has just come back. He has no idea what we're talking like, well, about. I'm sure that oh, what Zysis understands me. exactly what I am. He has no Zysis, idea what we're do you talking. understand what I'm talking about? The apparent horizon, yet? Yeah. Fuck, yes. So if it's okay, the parent, now we can move on. If it's the parent, welcome to Flat Earth. You need a physical, geometric one. Dicey. Geodesic. All right, where is your geodesic horizon? Below our level. Is that a physical or an apparent one? 
both. Physical and the pirates. Yes. Yeah. How does that work? Look, I can even. I, look, I found my old file. I even got my old hard drive out. Uh-oh, I found you're all the old pictures. You're spiraling. My spiraling old argument. Sizes. You're spiraling out of control. Focus. Look, I, I posted again. Physical. This is. I posted this exact <laughs> picture. I made this spiraling exact discovery wannabe, myself. I just Wasn't observed it this. myself. Wasn't ready for this. Do so I need to explain the image oh, that I'm that I'm posting God. right now? Do I need to explain that to you again? Sweet, sweet. There, there we go. All right, look. So, all right. Let's take a look at your image then. Where is your physical geodesic geometric horizon? Yeah, if I darkened that image, if I yeah. if I darkened it a little bit, yeah, and I can find a better one. Find a better one. I like that image, man. Zeiss it's amazing. Zeiss has no idea what he's in for. This is great. This is big brain see. stuff right here. Oh, oh there you go. Uh-huh. There the we shadow, go. The shadow disappears into infinity. And this is the problem you have. This is a... When I say disappears into infinity, your brain goes go, 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 go. So that shadow goes into infinity. That shadow, the shadow, is going into vanishing point. If okay. the horizon is as you say, it would also be at the vanishing point. Yet the shadow is different to the horizon, the apparent horizon. Okay. You notice that? Okay. Mm. The horizon is just below it. Okay. Now, yeah. If what you said, if it was perspective, like you guys say, because I understand your argument. That's the point, is I understand your argument. What's the argument? If the horizon were at eye level, if it was going into a vanishing uh, point, like the you argument. say, then the horizon would be at the same the point as the shadow. The sh it would meet the, the shadow, but it does not. It's below it. That's not the argument, Zeiss. Furthering the evidence that the Earth is a globe and it is falling away from you constantly. The shadow you is always, going not where the you stand. The this shadow is, the is going have. out into the clouds. Like, All oh my you God. Guys are, fucking sweet. Have, you, the trickery that you like, I always like to do is that you are always at the top of the ball. You're like an ant on a basketball and you're always at the top. So the, the, uh, the earth is always in every direction falling away from you. From one observer to the other, that, that observer, they're at the top of the ball. You're at the top of the ball. There you go. I want. I want. So, also, also, chemo. Can you explain that shadow on a flat cannot earth? Explain that with a flat earth. Look, and he'll try to say that the haze, the haze that you're seeing between horizon and vanishing point, is the actual flat earth. That it's all compressed. You see, and if you zoomed in on it, you'd be able to see more. That's what these guys used to say. Chemo's forgotten his own rhetoric, mm. and that's no. all compressed. But if you zoom in on it, you don't see anything. You see atmosphere. These, these were some of the early arguments that used to be proposed back in the day. These are my observations. I used to do a lot of homework about this stuff. I came up with a lot of stuff. Mm. All right, so let me show you an image. That's Matt Rainier, by the way, with the, the shadow it casts. It's quite Yeah, pretty. yeah. It looks really great, man. That's a great photograph. So, where is your uh, geodesic horizon in the image I posted? Oh, I can't see it. Uh, but you're, no, uh, you're, what you're talking about, what you're talking about is images that can be brought back on through... Dan, you're uh, hot miking. Um, Dan, you are hot miking. The horizon would be at least a mile if it would be on the ninth or one uh, platform. Hold on, hold on, Lemon. Hold on, hold on, Lemon. Let me just get, get Zeisis on the, on the right page here. So, Zeisis, you understand if uh, the Earth is, if the radius is 39.59, then your horizon for a one foot observer will be 1.22 miles away. Oh, where's the fraction in there? The maximum geometric point. So, the maximum distance when the obstruction will disappear, bottom first, physically, can't be brought back on a globe right. of 39.59 is 1.22 miles. So, yes, but we've, we've explained why okay. this happens. We've explained why it, this happens, Nemo. Gave that explained... image about 17 seconds possibly of thought. Mm, I'll give it seven seconds of thought. Can you repeat what you're seeing there? All these observations of distance. Can you do that over over Earth, over ground, without water? Because you guys like to rely on water. Everything you do is over water. Now do it without water. As water lies flat and level, 
most people agree that water makes a level of some no, sort. Water also level over the ocean produces level. inferior Therefore, people mirages. Are uh, people are very there comfortable could be an with inferior mirage. There could be a superior water. mirage. It's an infu- that's known as an inferior yes. mirage. You, you, I don't believe that. Yes. That. you need to see the original image and the duplicated superior. Now, I don't know if anyone's mirage. in agreement with me on what I'm saying, but I could. I, my immediate reaction so is that my eyes are lying to me. evidence of it being the case, because we need to see a duplicated image. Otherwise, you'd just be begging the question. No, no, no. You wouldn't be. Like, why would you see a duplicated image over water uh, if the if it's just bringing back up the image of the single uh, thing? Like, you why would be begging would it the question, be... saying that it's being lifted up over some sort of obstacle without well, evidence you could take, to you show could that take, that's the okay, case? Okay, okay, okay. Because we're only seeing a single image here. What we need to see is uh, is photographs taken over a series of. Uh, like uh, a series of photographs, ones that don't that don't show the image, and then another one that does show uh, the image, right? So we need to see like a series of photographs that, that that do and do not show the image. That's what you're saying. If you're okay. saying that it's a superior and inferior mirage, that's fine. But you need evidence that that's the case with at least two images: the original and the duplicated. I do mirage. have evidence because it's over a body of water. Do the exact no, same thing. Looking that it's without the evidence that it's been duplicated. Okay, and it well, looks like just, a sunny like, day. So can, I have can, the conditions can, to supply me with the evidence to say that it could be a superior mirage or an inferior mirage. It could be a mirage. So provide hmm. me, eliminate those those two things. What conditions day, make it a superior no and inferior mirage? Sunny, you're no saying that these day, conditions no exist, but you're not stating okay, what they are. Go and do that, and you've got yourself a you've got yourself a compelling argument. So you're saying anything over water will give you a superior and inferior mirage? That can, doesn't bother. It can do. No, it can I'm do. not saying that. It's to do with the temperatures. Yes. Of atmospheres. What what I what what I would like to see is an image taken over land. Uh, at the similar distances, if there can be an image taken over land, a flat area of land, uh, where you see uh, something, a building nine miles away uh, uh, over land. The best thing you that have is like the salt flats of Salar de Uni, which are like um, hundreds of miles or something like that, and it's extremely flat. Okay. No, 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 uh, just nine, just. So I've got the straightest road. Nine miles. I've got the straightest road. In the image I linked, and to whoever was talking, um, Jane Robot, can ships fly? Based on your evidence, is that a flying ship now? Is that ship actually flying? Is it levitating? Is it a magic ship? What are you seeing? Oh, yeah, it's in spoiler. Uh, by the way, so, so the question to you then, Zysis, in that image you've just posted, where is the horizon? Well, somewhere closer to that ship. Zysis, the picture you posted with the ship floating, where is the horizon? The where visual can... horizon, what mm-hmm. you're seeing, mm-hmm. the apparent horizon, is where where the where the sea meets the sky. Okay, so you've mm. got so you've got an apparent position. That horizon is not at a set distance. So if I'm a six, that's a mir- if I'm a six, hold on, Wallaby, mir- Wallaby, mir- Wallaby, mir- wallaby mir- hold on. Mir- Goodness sakes, Wallaby. I'm sorry. I'm now, sorry. if I looked at that same dumb. same image with radar, I would not see any of that. I would see the real reality, and I would know that that ship is fl- not flying. Yeah, I'm. It's saying- a refractive layer that is right under the ship that is um, looking like it's uh, floating, but it's just a refractive layer close to the bottom of the ship that's keeping the water, um, the light that would normally come off the water and reach your eye from reaching it. And all you're seeing is just a reflected uh, mirage image from that. Okay, uh, so you're telling me what type of mirage is it then? So you seemingly uh, know a lot about mirages. What would we call that? What type of mirage is it? If the fake image appears above the real image, it's superior. If it's below, it, it's um, uh, inferior. So the real water would be below that layer. So I think that that would technically be uh, relative to the water. 
what a superior mirage based off of the water, the real image of the water being below the fake image of the sky that's kind of covering up that layer of water from internal reflection, I would say. So based off the water, it would be what, a superior? Um, that's a superior, superior, that's a superior mirage. mirage. Based off the uh, water anyway. Now, I'm just curious. But if you talk about the this... sky, it would be a reflection of the sky that's above, down below. So I guess relative to the sky, it would be an inferior mirage relative to the sky. But I don't know about the technicalities. Do we have providence on this photograph? I mean, is this uh, definitely real? It's I was going to ask that. Is it a real I picture? would assume it's real. Yeah. I don't see any picture. water. Like I don't see like where the wake of the ship and stuff should be. I don't see any like. It's well, you don't see. You don't actually see. Point. You don't see the bottom the half ship, of the ship. The either. ship. The ship is not even in plain sight. The ship itself is a projection. The ship is over the horizon. It's, below, it's, it's below. on the other no, side of the not. ship. That's the see. real boat. The, the thing radar. that's being miraged is the Neither layer of you. water. Look at you. Suddenly, and your last, the last word of your last sentence was, "I don't know." And now you do. Suddenly you do. The thing is, to figure out what's being miraged, you need to see what the real image is and what are the fake no, images no, to have a superior and inferior mirage. Insane. You're saying mirage that that is what? Some sort of superior mirage oh, on okay. the boat? You, you sound like Mackintalk from the 1988, but okay. Um, look. But you're assuming that that's a fake image of the boat that doesn't necessarily follow. miles away. 200 miles. How do you? How did your brain compute That's that? the actual image of the boat. The yeah, only thing that's being lost is the water layer. So your interpretation is a little oh, false. Oh, I'm hold sorry. on. We we have we no. have video. No, we not. have video. We have a video from uh, Jane Donut of uh, a sailing ship uh, floating in midair, right? Basically floating in midair. So it's a superior That's mirage of the water, called, but the yeah, actual it's, boat it's is still Plato there. It's Morgana, right? So but I this goes to how it. you need to have an original it's, image and a duplicated image to have any sort of mirage. And we see the actual water there, and we see a fake layer above where there's some video. sort of uh, miraging. Lemon, so is, you is need that, to have some sort of duplication to invoke a mirage. I'm sorry. Is that boat they, above? They go on to explain why it is happening. Is that above because your eye level? Because the or? light from the water layer would normally reach your eye, but there is a layer that is refractive and reflective that is keeping that uh, light off of the water layer from reaching your eye. So what you're seeing instead is a but reflection what, what, off of the sky, off of that layer, and it's making it appear to float. So you have a reflective, refractive layer blocking the layer of water that would normally reach the eyes. Yes. Right. Okay. But, like, is that proof? It's not proof of anything. What is He's proof trying of? to invoke it as the boat is being refracted over the horizon. That's an incorrect interpretation because the thing that's actually refracting is uh, the, the water layer in the sky off of that layer, not the boat itself. It the would boat's be not below, it, below, it can be below the horizon when you see those boats floating there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So he's invoking the boat going over the horizon of the horizon and miraging, but the only thing that's miraging is the sky and the water off of that. Uh, otherwise, well, if it wasn't that if it wasn't that way, then you would see two boats. Like I think there would have to be it has to be below the horizon for it to do that. The horizon is beyond the boat. The thing is, you have a, a, a refractive layer below the level of the boat that no, is going in no, the no, 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 and it's not. keeping the water that would normally be okay, seen well, how, below the boat. How would you explain? The how would you, hold, no. How would you explain uh, if, the, if the horizon is beyond the boat, like for your eye to see, right? So your eye is seeing beyond the boat. How is it that uh, it's floating in midair? Like there's a reflection like layer below the boat that is keeping is the water that would normally reach your eye from being visible and resolved as water. You're just getting a reflective layer that's reflecting the sky. That's all. Yeah, sadly, he's right. It's like a mirror. A mirror was placed right below the boat, and all you're seeing is the reflection of the sky off of that refractive layer. That's why I said for there to be the superior inferior miraging that you're trying to imply over a globe. Well, that's the inferior. That would be an inferior mirage, right? 
The Excellent. So, right. by your own evidence, by your own evidence, can you trust Horizon with your eyes? By your own uh, evidence. Uh, you could trust it up to a point. Mm, so you can't. Can you? You can trust it uh, for the most part. See what I just did to you there? What did you do? By your own evidence, can you trust Horizon? You're repeating your question. Well, you're I'm evidence. asking you can what you, you did. No, he, I mean, well, uh, whether we uh, can trust you know, the horizon. I don't need to answer your questions if you don't feel you? the need to answer mine. Not my first rodeo, pal. It's not about whether not we can trust it, Zeiss. It's like whether wrong. you can trust like the horizon. The information out of you. I'll happily be wrong. Can you so trust the horizon? Prove me, because your ego wants to prove me wrong. So you'll you'll actually prove me right. By trying to prove You're me trying wrong. to use sophistic tactics that's called a, that's, and that's, that's a tactic called instead a of gotcha. using real logic and evidence to help us in this lab. Your own evidence, your thing. You're using your own evidence. I'm you not interested just admitted in that. That you cannot trust what you see. But you can so trust how it. How do you measure the shape of the you earth? That the horizons. If you're trying well, to say the flat earth, the shape of the earth. Welcome to the globe, mate. You just said we can't measure it. You can't trust the horizon. By your own evidence. You yeah, can't. by the evidence, you can't trust the horizon. So, so the how do you measure you to the horizon? Emo, you can't trust it, can so you? So how can you measure That's to it then? That's because then Bring neither can you when you invoke a ball. Some you need no, to have wait, some wait, sort wait, of real yeah. horizon with the have a ball measurement of some sort. So that self-defeating <laughs> off um, Gotcha. Hold on. Love it. Wait, do, Too easy. This no, is self-defeating sophist no, rhetoric that doesn't help us solve whether it's no, a flaw. Yeah, I, I, I actually agree with you. I don't think we can rely on sophist uh, arguments about this. What I would like to see is uh, evidence. When, when we're talking about, like, I hate uh, um, these photographs over oceans. Like, they're not great. Uh, they're not good. The what I would like to see is a, a photograph taken across land of something floating in the air, right? Uh, is there something that we can, yeah. but you only yeah. get a nice stable air layer over the water because the land is all of those. I um, understand how it works stuff, over the water, it tends to make it more wavy, yeah, yeah. But I would like to see, like, fucking, like, can, can we, You're missing can the we point, see... wannabe. And we, no, I don't think I am. You are, because uh, we're talking um, no, about, no. Zeiss has just said you cannot trust the horizon. So how are we making yeah, measurements to like, the can, horizon? But you, you're saying, um, you're saying that you can rhetoric, trust. You know, cheap rhetoric like that is used to destroy the thinking of your opponent, but not um, used to uh, reach consistent logic or a, a consistent no, way of thinking. Can, I, don't, I don't, honestly, that's, that's honestly, I don't. Tactic. What, what I, I'm, I'm cheap asking, tactic at all. I'm asking, I'm Very asking, a, I'm asking a proper question here. Just, you just like, don't like that's you what I'm doing. Out, mate. I what I want to ask is the is, is there anything that we can see over the land? Like obviously, would have we would have like there's plenty of photographs over the ocean of weird anomalies that happen we see too ocean. far over land that's the, the land version yeah, yeah. but the thing yeah, is water is agreed to be flat and level the land tends can we to see slow. something can we see something that's nine miles away on land you can uh, see something that's a hundred miles away that should be hidden by a hump of earth curvature that's the land yeah, version got perspective lemon how can you see yeah, but there's no photographs Excellent. of that. Is there? Is Prove there any it. photographs of that? Yeah. Prove it. If you've got Prove the sky it. converging, photograph is staying way too far over a ball. So we already have that. But the thing is, the land in general tends to slope gently toward the sea. So you're going to tend to see uh, sloping of some off. sort I'm gently toward about, the sea. I'm talking about on, on places like Lake Eyre, right? Like Lake Eyre in Australia is is dead straight, right? It's uh, it's actually water straight. It's water flat. Because it's it's a it's a salt lake, you know that is a dried uh, salt lake. Yeah, yeah, it's a plain. It's 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 literally foul. It's like a thousand fucking kilometers long. You know, it's really no huge. intrusions at all. Right, Wallaby, can, you, you, can... you're, you're getting away from the argument of what we're trying to explain about the horizon. 
Yeah, all of these other things that you're asking for are just. Well, but can you see something there? I don't can know. Can you see something? I don't gone? know. That hasn't been can observed. Can you see something? We don't know. Oh, oh, something, what, chemo, you, you chemo, have, chemo. You have you we have just, salt planes in the. We have to do this land. again now. We have to go over this again. You can't you can't use Horizon to prove the shape of the Earth. Yes, you do. You show us. What that is your ships, counterclaim? You show us that ships disappear bottom first. That's no. what Eratosthenes yes, did. Eratosthenes assumed that uh, basically you can't see beyond the Earth curve and that you can get math formula that give you the diameter of the Earth by taking the fraction of your height to about three miles away, um, uh, equaling the fraction of that uh, three miles away divided by uh, the distance to the diameter to the other side of the Earth. That's basically what Pythagore Pythagoras and these other number cultists did based off of their assumption that there's a hump of Earth curve in the way. Uh, well, isn't that isn't that ac isn't that accurate? Like, weren't they accurate on the? It's been up to a point, but it gets increasingly off with the long distance observations that we see. If this hump yeah, of Earth curve is what we're seeing, well, then it's atmospheric objects yeah, beyond. But, hold on, because of atmospheric fucking conditions, like you can't rely upon like what we see as being a horizon. Right? Atmos atmosphere often. Uh, uh, gets in the way of our, uh, gets in the way of uh, of um, visual locations, right? As it was for a flat plane, but the generalized mechanic that they're citing, a hump of Earth curve blocking objects beyond, appears to be highly suspicious. Now we can write workarounds for it with any amount of refraction or whatever, okay. but I'm going to drop it and go with something flat in the diffraction limit with a D. Oh no, it's not a lump in the way. It's not rising in front of you and then falling away. It's falling away from you. You are at the high point, and it's falling. It would be you rising that. relative to a cord going no, straight no from rise. your feet to there the foot of no the rise. object. It, no, it would rise relative to the cord, ball, to the cord okay, from your feet to the object. This. Let's do this simply for you. If you are standing on a ball, there is no hump in front of you, is there? There's a Never. hump relative to the cord. The cord so that you are standing straight, on the a cord ball, is a line that, that a goes giant, to the circle. If you are standing a on a 10-foot ten, ten wide a basketball... A diameter is a cord that goes through the middle of the circle. Okay, but there's a cord that goes from your feet to the foot of the object. That is uh, where you're going to get a hump, uh, uh, a rise of a hump relative Why to that. Why would there be a hump? Well, let it get Why it out of your system. Because of your premise. You're saying that there is uh, earth curvature obstructing the object. So relative to the hump, okay. uh, to the cord, the line that goes from your feet straight to the object, there would be a rising hump in the middle. Okay, why? if you understand that, why are you arguing it? It's really kind of an argument without a point. No, uh, no, no. Uh, if you guys are going to use sofas tricks like that, you know, sense. you can play this game. If you can play this game, you can play this game. I'm uh, able to do yes. it much better. If, if you compare it to a court, it is a home. Well, if I'm. St well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, if I'm David. standing on. If I'm standing on a perfectly round uh, sphere, right? I'm standing on a perfectly round sphere, a billiard ball, let's say. My f where uh, from where I'm standing, uh, there would be no hump. If you were right looking at an object beyond the horizon on that billiard ball, there would be an apparent hump. There would not if be anything yeah. from my feet. If I raise forward, if I don't know why we're specifying forward. If I if I if I lay down if I lay down on the ground right, I lay down on the ground, my eyes are at my feet level, right? My eyes are at my feet level. There's no hum. We're doing the cord. It's an object, the earth the sphere will be in the way of the object. So what if he? I don't know why he's specifying it, why he thinks it's valuable, but there I is no idea the, the billiard ball is in the way of the object. I just had to specify it because Globers like to play sophist mind fucking tricks to avoid the central issue, namely that on some level this ball would obstruct objects that are beyond if they're only poking off of the ball at a certain yes. height. Well, we all agree with that. We all say that the Earth is what's obscuring it. You don't. Yes. You think a flat surface is doing it. Yeah, because of the diffraction limit. Looking down a hallway, a flat That's hallway, okay, the diffraction limit will make the ceiling ramp into the floor. In fact, what was that? The diffraction limit. 
There's no hump well, in perspective the doesn't account for there's the no, diffraction. There's no hump in the front hallway. Yeah, Where's it's just ceiling ramping hallway? into the floor because of the diffraction limit with the D. Because of the diffraction limit with the D, if you're close to a surface, eventually the surface will meld with the floor. I mean, the, the well, sky tell, will tell me what that. Tell me, tell me what that is in, uh, in, uh, in geometry. Vanishing please. point. That's called the diffraction limit. It's because of diffraction, where two light sources that are separated will eventually merge into one unresolvable light source. Light source one is the ceiling, light source two is the floor. They will merge into one unresolvable horizon line based off of this general That's, principle. No, That's not horizon line, shift. vanishing point. Uh, You're doing no, it again. You can use together in a plane or a line. You a are confusing them you again. You confusing vanishing point with horizon as all. A bunch of vanishing okay. points linked together would be a vanishing line if they're happening at the same height at the eye level in the same plane. Yeah, and it's got nothing by to do way, with horizon. I don't, no, it has nothing to do with horizon. And by the way, he is talking from a flat Earth perspective. So uh, let's remember that. You know, like actual perspective. Actual yeah. perspective as opposed to where we totally see a flat horizon and try to make people. a curve. <laughs> and yeah. if that were the case, it's if that were not, the case, it's, it's then not the horizon the case. would always be at eye level. It would always be at eye level mm. because it is the Around. vanishing point. It defies everything. It would always, Around. always be at eye level, no matter what ascension, yeah. no matter what altitude you have, it would always be at eye level. Yet when we it go would be up, a general fact, but down. it's a little off because I can look over a flat table right now, and that flat table, even though it's very flat, will be below the level of the eyes if it has a cutoff point of any sort. It wouldn't. You'd be able to see the whole surface of the table. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It depends, on how, it extends, it depends on how thick point. the air is, all that. Vanishing point. If, if, yes. uh, if, the ta if the table extended for infinity... Then you would see a vanishing point to the surface of the table. There are no actual infinities, so we must conclude that if we're dealing with a real object as opposed to some sort of weird but abstraction, I'm talking, I'm talking at about end it somewhere like a flat way. table, yeah. and eventually fall below the level of the eyes if it has a terminating cutoff point of some there sort, just no like the table falling, I'm looking over. There is no level be uh, below the eyes. You will you will over see a flat table or and it is below the level of my forever. eyes. You would see forever. This is abstract and removed from reality. Would, reality course, when we have surfaces that terminate How in general they rise for the level of the eyes until they terminate. There is no termination point to uh, the example that I produced. If you had a flat table for infinity, you would see it. For infinity, you would be able to see it. For infinity, there's no vanishing point. Well, there would be a vanishing point. The general but behavior is stuff below the level of the eyes ramps be, up and stuff above the level of the eyes ramps up. Hey, what are you reading? What are you reading? What is it? What are you reading? What is it? What is it? After five years of this, I have this down to basically... How, how, does something, how does something go below the level of the eyes? Because you have a really thick air layer that gets bigger and bigger and bigger as you rise in elevation between let's, you and the let's surface. Get rid of that. Let's, say, let's say, okay, okay, the table is in space. You're viewing it in space. There's no air level. There's no air. What would you There's see? still space between you and the table of some sort. You still have ether between you and the table, what even though you the air see? is in back up. The question. Ether? ether is the substance of space. Ether it's like a fluid. A fluid full of energy. Objects, you know, the bottom of the objects disappears because they slowly all squish together at the bottom. Can you Google negative angle of view? That's the reason even space pope uh, put that water level there, uh, showing that the horizon <laughs> rises towards like the eyes. I think I really the eyes. the other day was you know what what below at. eye level. How? I was what space pope shows you is that the horizon is below eye level. 
That's what it's showing. Well, the thing is, you also have to take a ruler and line it up is with the horizon. Is that what you're seeing? The Hello? moment you rotate Did you see the that, image? Um, no. Where is the horizon? No. Below eye level? Because of the rotating ruler. Where is the horizon? I don't Where see that. Where is the horizon? Below the horizon eye level? The horizon is still rising toward eye level because if you, you take a ruler, sir, and line it up with the horizon nice and flat, the moment you rotate it without raising it or lowering it, it will appear to go above or below the horizon in the distance because of perspective. When you rotate no, an object, it would not. Uh, even no, above this level, the moment you rotate no. eyes. Um, no, it wouldn't. Yes, it would. Try it with your Why? phone. Why? Plus with the horizon straight on, rotate it, and it will appear to ramp up and down past the horizon simply by rotating it. It's right, still right. level. It's, right, it's just right, the right. way that your but, eye perceives but, things. But, but, but the picture's showing you something different. They're showing you that your point, your, your focus is above the horizon. So you yeah. took a ruler, the water level, and rotated it off a little bit, and now it's appearing to poke above and below the horizon Always a little bit by rotating it. Wow. Well, wait, 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 wait. You know, five that years you're doing this. Level? You're doing this for five years, and that's, that's your conclusion? Five yeah. years. Uh, practical oh, examples that conclusion? mimic real life, not a bunch of idealized abstracta. What did you do real life? to prove it to yourself? What did you do? I looked at the horizon and saw it was flat. What did you Thank do? Thank you. You oh just my God. Exactly. You, just you, that you didn't do me? shit. So you get to just interrogate no, me without uh, being accountable you yourself. You what did you do? Yes. Being what did you do? More than you. You want somebody to call? I like. Solve I'm all ears. Jane Donut. I made I made shit. I and mentioned the angle of what did you uh, five did we not establish did we not establish Jane that views. the uh, horizon can't be Good. trusted? There is no research. The ship results. flying. You established it with baseless rhetoric that's self defeating. If we can't trust the horizon, then neither can you. Baseless rhetoric. Five well, years. Okay. In five so years you, you came to the conclusion that a I flat plane has a horizon? If we look well, at it was a time well spent because I learned about the way that people logically think of things and the fallacies you they nothing, fall into. You they're inconsistent thinking. No, so you I don't think have the ability to learn anything. Well. You don't have the ability to learn anything. You're just showing it to us. So now you're saying we can't trust our senses. We can't trust anybody but the gods of scientism with their no. own agendas and their nope. own access to nope. mind things. Nope. You can't trust your senses. That's the only correct thing you ever said. I already solved this one. I don't know if you understand what you guys don't understand. It's called the negative angle of view. You can only see so far because you have a solid beneath your feet uh, extending in front of you, so that takes away the, the amount of light that you can focus on in the fucking distance. How goddamn retarded are you? People the sometimes that would have to work. Silly. It's, it's, it's fine. Have People have something mistakes. That's why we're waking up. The way that would have I to work know. is that something in the distance would have to have an how increasing how angle. That doesn't solve it? How come that doesn't solve it? Just what I told you. Amazing. The, assholes won't let the you way talk. that would have to work yeah. is that things in the distance would have the amount cut off on them. The angular amount of things that are cut off on something increase with distance, which is what we see in reality. You don't have an explanation for why something should do that. Yeah, we have the diffraction limit. The angle increases. I don't know if you heard what I said, but as the object gets further and further from you, that angle goes up. You don't have an explanation as to why that angle is constantly increasing as the object is going away from you. The angle goes up. When stuff goes away, it tends to dip down toward the level of the eyes as long as it maintains rev uh, elevation. The angle, the difference, the mountains? drop, no, what, the what, amount what, what, that you so see an object deviate it. from eye level at your altitude, that angle increases as the object moves away from you. There's no explanation with diffraction or perspective or vanishing points that makes that happen. But the thing is, your assumption that it would rise perfectly to the level of the eyes is off. I showed that with the table. The table is flat, yet it still rises toward the level of the eyes. You're assuming that it's an infinite plane that infinitely rises toward the level of the eyes. That assumption is not valid. We don't have actual infinite in reality, so why are we invoking that? That doesn't well, make sense. it doesn't sense. really rise, right? You know that. But it rises what I'm saying is, an object really? that your is it... eye... 
an object at your altitude should always be at your eye level, no matter how far away it is from you. But we don't see that on Earth. Why? Because you're not establishing a proper level. You're trying to eyeball it through a theodolite. He just told you. I, told you. I, I, I said you. altitude. Your same altitude limit. How do you establish? We need to see how you establish level. <laughs> you can do it over water. It's always going to be the case that something at your altitude, at an increasing distance from you, drops down as the distance increases. The but you need to establish that angle a level drops, the, That drop angle increases as something goes away from you, kind of like a curved surface. But you need to establish a level line, and you haven't done that. Your level line effectively disappears. If you're talking about the level line being an object or a plane that is the width of the um, a horizon crosshair in your reticle of your theodolite. And mm -hmm. so effect effectively, like a penny that's really thin, it will disappear. Your level line will disappear, and you can't tell what's up, what's down, or what's going on. So uh, your uh, statements are baseless without a, a real level line that's uh, fully established. Denial is awesome. Use gravity, you idiot. But but it keeps dropping. It goes down from your eye level. There's something to and it. Yet again, we do not have an infinite plane, so you will look, la look out over a table that will eventually appear to be below the level of the eyes anyway, especially if you rise in elevation and have a thicker and thicker and thicker air column of increasing height above said surface. So some of these um, assumptions that you guys are making are a little off. Maybe you need to look. What about what? What about a star on the horizon? How many miles are we seeing then? You know how you'll see a star on the horizon. So I'm Something seeing like 3, for three thousand miles million, at least. I'm seeing for trillions of miles, but uh, what I get, what I look out, I'm only seeing for what eight miles, right? Because the Earth. That's because you're close to the surface. The general phenomenon is that your <laughs> eye like symmetry, and that it will deal with an equal zone of vision above and below the level of the eyes. If you're six feet off the ground, it has a nice symmetrical zone six feet up from the level of the eyes, six feet down from the level of the eyes that will come together, converge, merge, and make a horizon line in the foreground. So about three to six miles out anything that's taller will just have to set behind that horizon that's made in the foreground so five years in five years the only thing you did is to learn how to put words into sentences but those also uh, i learned how to deal with the mind destroying rhetoric no, of no, soapers like you that no. would rather put up fog and obfuscation than get to the heart of the truth so i think yep. that some of my time was very well spent really so you you learned stuff And you learned that if you're looking at a star that is right above the horizon, it's further away, right? Where is it? Is it on the dome? That star that I can see right above the horizon. Uh, it's Where is it? Below the diffraction limit. Where You're too is close it? To the freaking surface. Where is the, the floor star? merges with the ceiling, Where and eventually are... that star is just unresolvable. Where is the it's star? It. Where is it? Where is it's it? It's still over the flat plane, but it's beyond where, where you can make. Where is it? Is it where on the is dome? the star? Yeah. Uh, where according is it? to the Bible, the sun, moon, and stars are within the firmament. That's I'm asking you. Where is it? How far is it from me? Uh, based off of triangulation of the sun and the star layer, about three to ten thousand miles away, at least for the sun, for the stars. I mean, okay, so I see a star in above the horizon that it's three thousand miles away from me. Correct? Is that correct? Roughly, it may be even closer based off of uh, refraction. But That's amazing because sure. the star is so small. So how come a ship that is so big is disappearing? Most of the smushing happens toward the level of the eyes. Remember, Less smushing happens see away the from star. the level of the eyes hey, because you have a wider hello, angle. So you're going to have a compressed no smushed zone. Hello, five years of knowing nothing. Converges. I can see the star above the horizon. Can I not? Up for a time, yeah, before it just yes, merges. So why, the why can't I see the boat that is much closer? Because it's bigger. higher up and at a wider angle. Whoa. What? <laughs> five years. Five years. Five years. The angle yeah. becomes really compressed toward the level of the eyes. You can no longer make out the object because it's beyond angular resolution. The angle can is I see thin the star? and compressed. Can I see the star? Because it's up and at a higher how angle. Big, how big is the star? What is what's the size of the star? 
triangle. It's a lit object. Oh, it's hard to tell. Triangle. Lit okay. objects break okay. angular but size rules because you don't have but a I, form that has a definitive size or a definitive blah, shape. Blah, 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 it has a corona that um, goes way beyond the object itself. It's like looking at a candle. A candle no, disappears really, after no like a mile or two, but if you light it, you can see it for you know uh, much longer than you normally would if it wasn't lit. It's like hey, there's you, a corona YouTube, light does, that goes does beyond YouTube the object teaching itself. you all those words? Is it, did you learn them in YouTube, those words that you're using? You can learn it yourself. Uh, look at Southern no. Israelites. Flat Earth Encyclopedia. It's a definitive opus on the topic. It goes over the logic, the history, and everything. So what is the logic that I can see a star right above the horizon? If it's a lit object, a have a halo of light that extends what is the reason? the object itself what assuming it? it's an object of some sort hey, so that would break hey, your angular size rules hey, hey i can see the star and i cannot see a boat that is much closer so it's up at a wider miles. angle number one that was answer number one it's up at a wider angle therefore you can resolve it better number two it's lit so it's breaking angular size rules with a corona that extends lights, right? well beyond the object itself, whatever you know the object lights, itself right? is. You know boats have so lights, there's right? two explanations. Yeah. You know boats have lights, right? Yeah, what the Wait. hell? You know boats have lights, right? Did you research that in five years? Did you check if boats have lights? <laughs> uh, are we looking at lit boats or unlit boats? Most of these observations are boats in the di daytime without lights. Okay, boats with so what would happen? Them. Did you check in the nighttime? Did you do that in five years? Have you done that? No, did you? Of course. I have a P-1000 right here next to me. What did you see? I didn't see a boat. Okay. It's but gone beyond star, angle resolution. But Lights I can't saw be a seen star. Forever. Hello? I saw a star. Uh, because of the explanations that I gave that you're not accepting. One is it's that a higher, higher angle, number one. Listen, listen, listen. Again, just, wait, 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 before you start. Logic and you're just interrogating me. Wait, wait. wait and number before, two, before it is start. a lit object, so it can wait, be seen for wait, longer wait, beyond wait, normal wait, angular wait. resolution rules, whatever the hell is happening. Use the okay. same rules on the boat, because it has lights on it. It is still at a shorter angle, because it's close to the level of the eyes where most of the convergence is happening. That is covered you with said it breaks uh, angular size number one limit. I've already given. You said it breaks angular size And eventually it limit will smush and disappear, source. even over the flat plane. Lemon? You said a light source breaks angular size limits, and the boats have lights on them. So what's going on? Uh, it's probably landed. It's at dock. Uh, most of these observations have been made at night, so you need to show me a nighttime observation. Uh, otherwise, what the heck are we talking about? You know, are you if I show, what happens if I show you one? What would chinic. happen if I show you one? What would follow. happen if I show you one? What would happen if I show you one? At the end of the sea, uh, at the end of the flat street, all the way over the flat Stop street, eventually it just merges me. with the surface. What would happen if you see one? What would you say then? You're dealing with a bunch of hypotheticals. Look, look at this video that I'm going to put in the chat. It goes over all the ideology. You're doing endless um, interrogation because you're trying to I fluster me, embarrass me, and say, ha ha, I won, but you're not no. really trying to learn. Just not watch the freaking video. Not, I never said anything like that. Life I'm, just, I'm just surprised that you think that you learned something in five years. That's all. Well, we, here we are. We're showing you. There, it's a very simple thing. I can see a star right above the horizon, and I cannot see a boat. You keep saying angles and whatnots, and I don't understand how is that even related. Yeah, Everett's got one for you, Lemon, by the way. You have to look at the video that he posts because it is uh, one of the finest pieces of trash that I've ever seen. He has no supporting documentation, no reason for any, in I don't any way to believe this guy. Right, it's very weird about the part with a star and the boat. The star is so small. Even if it's big, it's far away. That means it's smaller by their, not their, by perspective. But the boat is so closer. How, it's so weird. This is denial. He talks about, he tells us that we're, this is full on denial. Five years of nothing. Five years. Well, five years. Five playing, years. Five years of playing pretend. Two this weeks. is crazy. Yeah, so Lemon, if you do get a chance, Everett did post a, a gift there and you could probably just take a quick look at. 
Those light sources are not breaking any angular size limits that are not actually a thing anyway. You need to make an angle, dude, and you start the zero line of your angle at the level of the eyes. Then you make angles up and down from that point, and the boat that is close to the level of the eyes, close to your elevation, is going to subtend a much narrower angle than a star that is high up and away off of the land at a wider angle. So you're going to tend to see stuff that is high up and away from the level of the eyes, as opposed to something that is close to the level, level of the eyes, where the angle are smushing and being um, uh, made closer and closer to the zero starting baseline in your vision. It's kind of Wait, funny me... that in 12th grade physics, I learned about optics. And apparently... You didn't learn how to fly it over a flat plane. In five years, you learned nothing. Well, with all that optics. knowledge, it did you no good because you didn't come to the knowledge of the truth. You didn't apply it in a way that was consistent or a way that would make you uh, 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 come up with a quality um, sort of uh, analysis. So all of that knowledge is just bunk if it's not applied properly. You need to start the yeah, angle at a zero applied, line believe, at the level of the eye and go listen. up and down from there. And then the solution wait, wait. becomes glaringly apparent where the most narrow angles are toward the level of the eyes and the most wide ample angles are away from the level of the eyes up and down. That was... J oh, gerbil of the Watch the video. I'm not it sounds like you don't even have a framework to even think about this properly. So I don't even know why we're talking. I'm talking to you about things that are very sensical, but you can't even um, interpret them properly because you have no framework. Watch well, the video. My framework and is reality. Talk. And there is one thing we see in reality. Reality needs to be interpreted vis-a-vis -a, -vis a framework. No. Watch no, the video. No, your framework is your senses, and that's why you're wrong. Oh, he left, whatever. No. I watched his The Life is Short video. I, I wish I could just erase that from my mind, but I went ahead and duplicated what Life is Short did and figured out how he did it. By Are you way, familiar with Bearded Devil's channel? <laughs> all, all the things that uh, Lemonbird talks about uh, all those principles would apply if you look in any direction. Up, down, sideways, left, right, doesn't matter. Straight ahead. Uh, he doesn't acknowledge this because he wants to claim that the uh, surface of the Earth somehow has magical properties compared to every other direction you could possibly look at. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Do you like the way I did a gotcha on him, though? Didn't like that. His whole argument is, is special this how lemon, bleeding. Is this how lemon vision works? <laughs> if it says so in the Bible, that must be true. Well, it's squished yeah, in the middle, yeah. too. Like, it's high school level debate tactic. Like, it's... It's trivial to do. You just got to know how to do it. What you're doing? Is it debating? Myself a little pat, pat on the back. Was it debating? No, it's just beating, <laughs> flocking a dead horse. Yeah, was, uh, lemon thinks when something gets so far away that the bottom starts to disappear. So if I have a Lego building, the first. Lego, just because it's small and has reached diffraction limit early, will start to squish into the ground. But it's funny, when I take that Lego building and I zoom in on it, it comes back. But in reality, this shit doesn't happen. I mean, nothing comes back from past the horizon. Then you elevate and you can suddenly start seeing it again. You're like, hey, what's going on here? It's almost like I'm looking over something. <laughs> <laughs> but no, somehow I, I, I understand what they're saying they're saying that you know, when the angle becomes so acute you just can't resolve things anymore but it's like they're using the surface to say that and yes at some point the surface will become essentially unresolvable that doesn't touch anything that's above the surface oh um Oh. Is it just me, or has Lemon been more angry and surly since his uh, Darth Dawkins told him off? 
Oh, I don't know. I think it's been slowly building over the past, I don't know, seven or eight months. That's the only thing that kind of gives him any credibility in my book. Is when okay, he here comes the ad homs. Yes, very typical when okay, you guys I get slaughtered. I don't know what you're talking about. Why do you That's, just talking about? That's just an observation. That's just an observation. Who's the guy you, you call? Oh, is it the, the guy we just talked you about? Guys just lie. Yeah, yeah, Lemon Bird. Lemon yeah, was the guy with the horizon just now. He's going. He's yeah, going yeah, by the name Jane. Oh, thank you. Or and fifth his, his real name is Fifthisius. Not everyone is as calm as me when facing people like yourselves who lie constantly. Well, that's because you just don't mind interrupting people now, do you? Yeah, Kimo, why are you promoting echo chambers now? What? Why are you promoting Flatsoid? Why are you promoting echo chambers? Flatsoid is the colleague. Yeah, so, why are you promoting uh, an echo chamber, though? It's there, it's there if you need. A colleague? Yeah, why, like why, you why, is echo chamber, though? why are you giving up more uh, traffic to an echo chamber? An echo chamber? Hmm. He kicks out anybody that has logic criticisms of anything that he does. Just kicks them out. It's like, nah, I don't want to hear it. Right. Well, I mean, like I said, some people, um, you know, can't handle the fact that they're speaking to people who are being dishonest. Well, Kimo, is that you sending like your Black special Lloyd. up at me? Was that, were you sending, was that your special, is that the best you could send at me? No, well, I'm just uh, saying that he's live now, or premiering now, I say. You've got to admit it, I shut him down pretty quick there, can't you? Yeah, before you go to bed or something. But what's more damaging, like I said, uh, Lemon was on the back of the fact that the horizon is not physical. You've also understood, Zeiss, is that the horizon is not measurable, it's not physical, you can't trust it. So, Why there's a horizon on a flat plane? I still don't understand so then, that. Uh, Can you repeat that? This whole argument was proving that horizon is this and that and that, so one cancels out the other. You can't say, yep, yeah, you can't trust horizon, but I'm going to use horizon to support this argument. Do you see that? Mm, maybe, but without just that... You just admitted it. Without that geometric... I just said, repeat coach. yourself. What, can you repeat what you just said? Goodness sakes, Zeiss, I understand the stress. You need right, you a radius. You can't, you you can't no trust R horizon. Value, what we so we it. can, we can, we, I mean, we, we, the human race, we can measure the shape of the Earth in a Walmart fucking car park. No, you cannot. Stop being... We can measure the diameter of the... Yes, we can. We can measure the diameter of the Earth in a Walmart car park. Stop being silly now. There's no horizon there, is there? Yeah, you're presupposing that you want to board. No, we can. We have the technology to do that. We have such accurate instruments today that you could do it over the over uh, 300 meters. Zeiss, Zeiss, is that how I pronounce your name? Well, go on then, Zeiss. Yes. Let's take a look at... Just FYI, uh, Kimo uh, doesn't actually believe the Earth is flat. Is able to oh, move. I've known Kimo for a long time. All right. Hold on a second, Charlie. Zeiss, let's have a look at your devices. I know YT. What you say? I'm cutting out. Oh, mine's gone again. Was there any any flat earther who ever explained why there's horizon on? If yeah, the Earth is flat, why out. do we have horizon? Like, there we go. how is that possible? How do you have a horizon? Because the ground ramps up and the sky uh, drops down nope. giving you the illusion of sky and ground converging. <laughs> you know, like um, two railways. Okay, operations. so there is no, so you're saying there is no horizon, right? Yeah, there's no uh, physical horizon. It's just an apparent position, apparent observation. So why are we seeing oh. this apparent? Like, why, why, why is like, it happening? Like, you know when you see two train tracks converge? They're not actually yes. converging, are they? Correct. Yeah. So it looks like they're converging, but you know they're right. not. Right. Right. So the same thing is when you look at the ground or the sky, it looks like they're meeting, they're converging, yeah? <laughs> Understand? Yeah, except for the fact that... They yeah, and I told you before, you're confusing on purpose between horizon and vanishing point. No, no, you asked You're how do you have again. a horizon on a flat earth, right? 
okay, sure, yeah. So you're telling me it's perspective? It's the same reason that I, it seems like they're converging, but they're not? Yeah, it just seems like that, but they're not that. So that's your answer? Track, train tracks? Yeah, like the train tracks seem like they're coming together, right? But we know they're not. Right. So when you look at the water or the ground, that rises up, that ramps up, and the sky convert, uh, drops down, they can look like they're converging, but they're not. See? Yeah, I understand. You're talking about perspective. That doesn't yeah, answer the question, why mm -hmm. do we get horizon? Because perspective happens everywhere. Horizon doesn't. No. Why are you I'm combining the two? I don't know if you two. want to call it perspective. You can if you want, but I'm saying the ground, the ground appears to rise up. That's I why... understand, mm -hmm. but that's not answering the question. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, real quick, just to point out, you know, Kimo, you're, you're, based on your comments, you're, you're acting like a two-dimensional thinker. Okay. <clears throat> uh, these, these notations are when you say that it goes down and it goes up, right? Mm -hmm. Ground goes up, sky comes down. Yeah. It doesn't well, it appears either. to. It doesn't actually. It just appears that way. It doesn't even appear to do that either. Well, that's what you see. That's how you get the horizon. Not okay. Really. Okay. Perfect. So why is it happening on a flat plane? I still don't understand. Because when you look at the train tracks, it's... I don't see horizon. They're just converging. So why, all of a sudden, when I look into the no, ocean, I get this... I understand that. I'm using your logic. You just told me it's like train tracks. Do you think you've it... seen a horizon? It looks like the sky is meeting the ground. It looks like they're not actually doing that. I'm asking you, why is it happening in the first place on a flat plane? We've just been through this. <laughs> we just explain this. No, you haven't explained anything. The ground appears to rise up. That does not answer the question. Why? So what? But because it appears to when rise up. When I'm looking up, at train tracks, I don't have an horizon. I do not have horizon. So why, when I look at the ocean, I have horizon? It's not a physical horizon, it's just the appearance. So why I don't see this apparent horizon when I look on the train tracks? Well, why would you? <laughs> That's awesome. Why would you expect to see a horizon on train tracks? So please don't, tell, please don't give me the train track when I'm asking you about the horizon. No, you again. said you said the horizon. It's just like those train tracks, right? Yeah, they appear to converge. I'm not Neither talking about the. I, I understand. I'm not talking about the conversion. You, I'm asking you. There's an okay. So there's a parent horizon when I look at the ocean. Great. And mm -hmm. then I ask why. You say, well, it's just like train tracks. But I don't see horizon with train tracks. Why would you? Okay, so I'm going to ask it again, and if you can, please don't give me the train tracks as an answer. Why there's an apparent horizon on a flat plane? Because apparently the ground appears to rise up. That's your answer? That's the because answer, it, yes. Because it looks like it? It appears to rise, yeah, it doesn't actually... Yeah, it looks like it, right? That's what it looks like, yes, but it's not actual. So, okay. <laughs> So that's your answer. Why there's an apparent horizon? Because it's apparent horizon? That's your no, answer? Because, because it, it looks like it? The ground appears to rise up. The, ground, the sky appears to drop down. That, yeah, but that also happens on a train track, right? Yeah. But there's no horizon, right? No. Okay, so why there's a horizon on the, above the ocean and not above the train track? Because it appears to rise up the ground. Yes, the train track also appears to rise from the ground up. Yes, same thing. Why there is no horizon on the no, train the track? The tracks don't appear to rise up unless you're looking down at the sky and that. But we're talking about the sky appearing to meet the ground. Yeah, a lot of things appear to do things. Mm -hmm. Why is it happening? Why do I see horizon when I look 
at the ocean. I see what you're saying, Kimo, because there's a lot of it in front of you. Well, I mean, again, I'm not sure what he's getting at. I'm just saying it's just it's not actually happening. It's just the this effect is from caused from the your appearance. Eyes, your eyes aren't on your feet, mate. They're on your head. Okay, perfect. So why does this effect happens above train tracks? I don't know. Why? Don't you know. don't know. Yeah. Okay. So when I'm asking you how why is it happening above the ocean, the answer is also you don't know, right? Well, I've just told you the answer because the ground no, no, appears no, to rise. No, no, no. But train tracks also appears to rise up, right? No, they appear to converge together. Oh, so when you look at the if you just look somewhere, things don't look like they're rising up? Really? Well you've got the the ground converging. Yes. But the ground's not actually converging. You need, you need to decide if, if it happens all the time or it happens only when you look at the ocean. But when you look at a train track, the ground yes. appears. Just the ground, not the sky. Yes. Yes. The ground appears to converge. Does it go up? Wait, Wait say that again, Kimo? No, it doesn't actually go up. No. So it doesn't oh, appear oh. to go up, right? It does not? The train track, I'm, on a, I'm talking about the horizon. And, and yeah, and you giving the train tracks as some sort of, a, you know, yeah, something. So that's that, the ground. Right, so does, when you look at the ground, mm -hmm. does the ground also appears to look to go up? No, we're talking about the train tracks. Stick, at, stick to the point of what I'm making. So why do the train tracks appear to converge? Does the ground that the train tracks on appears to rise up yes yes so the the ocean also appears to rise up but there's an horizon and yeah. when i have the and we exactly and we have the same effect mm -hmm. when we're looking at the ground but there is no apparent horizon why not i thought you were talking about the train track is there a horizon at the train track of course, at the end of the train track, where the ground rises up, you will get an apparent horizon also, yes. That's amazing. Okay, so the ground rises up. Mm -hmm. In the ocean, the ground appears to rise up. In both cases, the ground appears to rise up. In yeah. both cases, things appear to converge. Okay. In one case, there's an apparent horizon, while in the other, there isn't. Why? Yes, in both, there was an apparent horizon. What? Really? Yes. Okay, thank you. How? And you, you are angry that people are lying to you, and you saw uh, a dishonest person. It's kind of weird. Well, what evidence but, do you have to you. suggest that I'm being dishonest? Because you just said there's a horizon when you look on the ground somewhere, mm -hmm. right? In a long road, you're saying there's a horizon. Right mm -hmm. on a flat plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and well, you didn't really explain how, but there isn't. Yeah. So, what evidence do you have that I'm lying? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 Yeah, um, the image I posted. Think which one is bigger? Hmm. What did I lie about? About uh, Horizon on train tracks. So what evidence do you have to support it? So I asked you why there's an apparent horizon on the ocean. And you went, oh, because things seem to converge on, on well, land. I was talking about train tracks, not the ground of the sky. You right, were asking, right, why isn't there right, a horizon at the end of right, the train? Right, right, track? right, 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 right. And you keep saying because it the, the you keep saying that the water appears to go up, right? And I'm telling you that in the train track, it's the same thing. The ground also appears to go up. Yeah, to your obviously. Eye level. But I thought you were talking about just the convergence. You of the were track. talking about the train tracks, and then yeah. I moved. To that, yes. Okay, so, so what? To show you it's the same thing, but the, the effect of what you see is not the same. Yeah, but I was on about the tracks converging. Only the okay. tracks. Okay, whatever. Okay. 
chemo, mm-hmm. you do know that the train tracks aren't really separate from the ground, right? Yeah, but I thought he was saying, why at the end of the train tracks themselves, why isn't there a horizon, like, with the tracks, like a single no, point? No, and that's what I said before. You're confusing vanishing point I'm with like, horizon. I'm like, what's he on about? Train track is vanishing point. Horizon, it is not vanishing point. So when you look at the horizon, the lower part, which is basically the water, is what you would call perspective or what you would call, sorry, uh, yeah, it's kind of perspective, but above that line, above that half line of your horizon, that's vanishing point. But anything below, it's not vanishing point. It's not that far, right? Yeah, but when you're looking over ground, your vanishing point can change. Well, vanishing point happens no matter where you look. Even now, when you Wait. look at the screen, you have vanishing point and perspective. So it's got nothing to do with horizon. That's what I'm getting to. You are confusing either purpose or not on purpose between horizon and vanishing point no 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 so look if you're one foot your vanishing point um should be where the sky meets the ground at 1.22 miles no That's vanishing point you is see. your focus point no matter where you look you have vanishing point no matter where you that look, that will be your vanishing point where the ground meets the sky no no vanishing flat, point ha- no no vanishing point that's what i'm saying see I'm saying vanishing point happens everywhere, no matter no, where you I'm look. You and you're here. saying vanishing point happens when you look at the horizon. Yeah, and you I'm are saying either combining the two horizon. or you're confusing the two. No, I'm they are not you the same. You're being okay, teach something. me. Teach me. So that's what I've just explained to you. So the vanishing point, when you're looking out at the horizon, fluctuates. Because no, whatever, um, when you're looking out, the ground will ramp up. That would be your vanishing point. And when that nope. can ramp up at nope. one mile. It won't. It won't because miles. I can see boats there, it right? Can ramp up a, well, no, it can ramp up at different miles, different distance. No. Let's <laughs> call you flatoid, uh, chemo, because flatoid makes a similar argument. No. The vanishing point, it, it, it doesn't work that way. That's just coming to me now. And that's how it works. You're doing, no. you're doing again, you're confusing, either confusing. Or you're combining vanishing point. I can see where you're confused. Horizon. Yeah. I can see you because you're confused. Like when you look at look out, you'll say, "Well, look out where at the horizon." See why you keep going in the horizon. I'm at, you're not, let me ask you this: Is there a vanishing point when you're driving on the road? Do you have a vanishing point? You're just driving in the street in your city. Do you have well, a vanishing point? Where are you point? looking out there? Straight in front of you? I, yeah, straight in front of you, just like now. When you're looking at your screen, at your that monitor right now, vary. do you have if a vanishing point? If you're a straight point? road, it will vary depending on the atmosphere. I'm sure, uh-huh. but is there a vanishing point or horizon when you look just the anywhere? The vanishing point is at the horizon, yeah? No, obviously not, because we can still see boats at that point, right? He, he does. He he wants yeah, to. Yeah, but you're not. Him. Well, no, because are you looking at um the real boat? Talking about reality, there. Oh. Yeah, talking about reality. Yeah, vanishing so point is not horizon wrong. line. Vanishing point is not horizon line. Pure and simple. So where's the vanishing point in this image? I don't know why it's a spoiler. Vanishing point is wherever you're gonna look. It doesn't matter. When you cannot make any more details, when your eye okay, cannot where make is it any more details. Image, in this boat image, where is it? Anything that is above the, the boat and everything that is not the boat. Yeah, but what is real and what is not? What is what, sorry? That boat is supposed to be below the horizon. No. No? Might be. Might be, might be, no, yes, no, what, yes, do, 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 do. what's the deal here? Are you I said the... anything above. Is that I the real anything above boat? The point? Or is that an, a, a refracted boat? Well, a refracted well, boat is still a real it. boat. Hmm? Refracted boat is still a real boat. It's still there, right? So that's the actual boat you're looking at, yeah? I'm asking, so you're saying mm-hmm. vanishing point is the horizon? That's what you're saying, yes? Is that the actual boat or not? Yes, it's is a real she? boat. Yes. That's the actual boat, oh. yeah? It's got nothing to do with this conversation. I yes, don't understand it does, why you're bringing you're this up. you're saying that you can see beyond the horizon, and I'm saying, no. are you looking at real objects I beyond the horizon? I asked you, 
I asked, I said that you are combining or confusing vanishing point with horizon line. So I've asked you, and in the, this image, where is the yes. vanishing point? I said everything above that point, everything so above the boat. Is that boat a real boat? Yes, of course. Welcome to Flat Earth then. Everything above the boat. Because what? according to the globe, that's been refracted yes. and that boat was already set beyond that horizon. Right, so you're saying it's not real? Well, I'm asking you, if, it, if it's the horizon's there and the boat is already past the horizon, down the ball, which is that the real boat? Duh. Well, yes, you see the horizon line, yes? The things disappear yes, below, boat. physically below that horizon line, no? Yes, it's a real boat. Yes, it's a real boat. So how's, what's it doing up there? It's what? Timo. No, what's don't the, help uh, him. Uh, don't help him. What's the boat doing up there if the horizon is what we can see? Yeah, that's if called I go to that horizon, We know that. It's expected on a board. If I go it's to expected. that horizon, will I disappear bottom first over that horizon or will I start floating like that bloat, boat? Okay, so this boat, mm -hmm. the further it will go, mm -hmm. even if it stays like that floating, mm -hmm. it will eventually disappear bottom first. Yes, of course. Where will it disappear bottom first now? Oh, wow. Where will the boat disappear bottom first? At which horizon? Uh, email? At which horizon? Yeah, which horizon will that boat disappear bottom first? I don't know well, how many horizons are there. I don't know, you can see the horizon, so I'm saying which horizon will that disappear over? I said, the further it will go, it mm -hmm. will always disappear bottom first. Which horizon? What? So it will come back to us and then disappear? No, I didn't so say What that. will it do? I said, the further it will go away from the observer, mm -hmm. it, will bo it will disappear bottom first. Doesn't where? matter, the over refraction where? rate. <laughs> what? In the, the sky? The refraction rate doesn't matter. So it's going to disappear in the sky? No, it will disappear bottom first. Over what? Sure. What do you mean, over what? Well, where's the horizon? There's refraction there. So the horizon, that's the whole thing, right? It's an inferior mirage, right? Where is the horizon, sick spider? I don't know where the horizon is there. You don't know where the... <laughs> the horizon... <laughs> so is that related to vanishing point? Where is the horizon in this image? I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. Is there a vanishing point? Is the vanishing point is your horizon point? Well, I don't, if I can't see the... If you don't know where the horizon is, I don't know anything about this image. If you've just broken down and said you don't know hey, where that clear when you're sky... looking at, when you're looking hey, when you're looking at clouds mm -hmm. is there a vanishing point when you're looking at clouds what are you talking about clouds we're talking about the horizon here where is the horizon in this image that's it's all coming from what we started you're confusing horizon with vanishing point. dude it's very simple if that's the real boat then welcome yes. to flat earth if it's not the real no. boat then where is the real horizon and where is the real boat it's called refraction, so it's very hard to tell, right? No, it's very simple. Yes. Is that boat the real boat or not? Well, it's refracted, and it is a real boat. Lemon, yes. scroll up, Dan. Uh, Lemon posted a video earlier on. So just scroll through Jane something, and you'll see the video to it. There is a video to oh, it. Oh. Hey, Kimo, so long story short, for no, you, no, no. For you the horizon, horizon, Where is the horizon? And vanishing point is the same thing? Where is the vanishing point in this image that I just posted? Is horizon and vanishing point the same thing? No, I want you to tell me where the vanishing point is in this image. Well, I want to know because then maybe I can answer your question. Is horizon and vanishing point the same thing? No, it depends. Thank you. I said it depends. Oh, it depends. It Wait, depends. it depends. That means it is. No, it but depends. depends on something. So depends, only in, oh. depends, depends. On what? What it depends on? If you're looking across the ground or looking straight up in the sky. Okay, so when I'm looking straight at the ground, I'm looking at my feet. Do I have horizon or do I have vanishing point? When you're looking down, you have a vanishing point. Okay, and when oh. I look at the horizon, do I have horizon or tell vanishing me, you point? You tell me. Look at this image and tell me where the horizon is. So, Timo, can you, can you post the being absolutely image? wrecked right now. You know this beard. Well, because don't, you're, don't, 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 you're don't distract from the conversation. Let these two go for just a second. He's being ruined. It's behind the boat, Kimo. Because ruined? this boat, he Why am said, I being is the real ruined? boat, where? boys and girls. This is the real boat. So if that's the real boat, 
Yes. The horizon where, is behind where is the it going to disappear bottom first? Over which horizon? What do you mean which horizon? Chemo, Please, the uh, horizon more, uh, is specific. behind the boat. So what's, the, what's in front of the boat then? Darker water. Mm -hmm. And what's that light blue area below the boat? It's called water. More water. More water? It looks like sky. Yeah, water. It's H2O. The ocean is made of it. How do you know it's water? Look at the horizon behind the boat. Where? Like, draw the line for me. That's what I'm asking you. I don't need to draw the line for you. You do. Look at the picture more closely. Sharp, dark blue Anybody who blue. actually looks at this picture can see that there is a line where there's a change in gradient right next to the boat. It's behind the boat. A day to draw it. Look to the right of the boat, Gimo. I can't see where you're talking. I've got the picture on the big screen, and I cannot see where you're talking about. Just draw a red line, or a yellow line, or a green line, or whatever line, and p point it out. Thick spider, you've been wrecked. You've how, said how was that I, is the how real was boat. I wrecked? Yes, it's a, I said it's a real boat. Yeah, we and I at said the real it's boat. refracted, and I said it's refracted. No, you That's didn't. Expected. I said that, and you said no. It's the real boat. I said it's a real boat. Yes, it's a real boat. What? What? Why Are we looking at the think... real boat or a refracted boat? You wrecked him. What? What? Say Damn that again. Killed him. Is it a refracted boat now that will go over which which horizon will that refracted boat go over? Um, mm, interesting. Whatever. I would say by the third horizon. The Where is one. that third horizon? Yeah, oh. the third horizon is in the third uh, inch of the image to the left, a bit from the bottom. That's your geometric horizon, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your third horizon right there. So that's your um, perspective. And you can can you tell me if the horizon that's your vanishing, and vanishing point, point yes. is the same point? So where you draw so it's that the same line, thing for you? Wherever you draw it's that the same line, thing for you? Wherever you draw that line is your vanishing point. Do you have Everett blocked, Chemo? Everett, no. I can see he's doing um, some kind of contrast, but still no line. Do you look at the right of the boat at all, Kimo? Yeah, I can see, yeah. Dark patches there, all over, there. left and right of that boat. What's right to the right of the boat in the image, Kimo? Just a dark patch. So you're saying that's the real boat then, is what I'll do first, yeah? It's a real and there's boat. a real yes, horizon. There's next a to real it. boat there. Yes, it's an actual boat. Yes, that yes, someone's yes. You on said it. Yes, yes, fine. Yes, so, yes, Doofus, yes. you're saying also we're looking at the actual boat. And we're seeing its yeah. position, though, where we see it. That's where we see Are it. Are we looking at the actual boat? That that boat exists, and we can see it. Are we it. looking it's at there. the actual boat in this photograph? Of course, it's an actual boat because we can see it. So this is the actual boat, yes? Not a refracted one. Doesn't matter, because there's a horizon right next to the thing that you're still ignoring. So, okay, so, I, so that's what I'm asking you. So we're looking at two horizons here now, yeah? <laughs> sure. So we're looking at one. What you're looking at in front of it is darker water. Do you want to bother checking why that water is darker than the rest of the water? Why is it darker than the rest of the water? Did you no, check Kimo, the weather maybe it's a question for you. That's not my claim. I see a horizon. That's what. Okay, so where's the vanishing point? Is? Where is the vanishing point? Can you see beyond the? The vanishing the boat? point would be where the horizon is. Okay, so th there you go. So what I said is correct. You are either confusing or combining vanishing point with horizon line. But where Thank you. is the horizon line in this image? You still haven't pointed it. Thank out. you. That's, Does it matter? Because you for you, Dan, they are the same. It doesn't matter. Funny. Where is the real it's horizon in this image? Time. For you, it doesn't matter, because for you, vanishing point and horizon are the same, right? Well, we don't know that until we point out the horizon. You just said they are the same. You said here, it I'm looking be. at yes, this vanishing point, we don't know where the you horizon. keep saying How can the vanishing point is at the horizon. How can we know unless this is the real boat or not? <laughs> if it's not the real boat, then you're not looking at the real vanishing point. If you're looking boat. in the mirror, say, when you look in the mirror, do you see the real you? 
I do oh, you exist or sake. do you see yourself in the mirror? It's not you. Uh, dude, just find an image where the real horizon is. Dan's giving you a whole bunch of examples of the same thing. Yeah, so where's the vanishing? Are they, is that the refracted boat or is that, the, is that an actual boat? That's an amazing... Did You so, you, you kind of began the question and then you stopped. Where is the vanishing point? That's a great question, Kimo. In those pictures, where is the vanishing point? That or for you, it's the horizon line. It depends on your perspective. If, you're looking, if you think that's curve and then the thing no, is looming... It's got nothing to do with it. I'm asking you. Everything you, to do so with it. So you're saying... Everything is what? It has everything to do with it. Yeah, to you, because you think that horizon and vanishing point is the same thing. You well, don't you understand. When you look at the horizon, at boat, the, one thing, the one thing that you don't understand, the, which is fun about horizon, is when you look at the horizon, mm -hmm. everything that is basically below the horizon mm -hmm. is not vanishing point, is what you would call perspective. Everything above that which horizon? is vanishing point. Which horizon? If you've got a point, then the horizon you're saying that's under, around, or wherever has to be in a fixed position, which it's not. Here, here let's, let's take the example from That before. horizon can go above Wait. the vanishing point, below it, on it. So where is... On it? It's on it. Can we level with yeah. it? Yeah, so you, you, you think they're the same. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm saying to you, unless you know where the horizon is, you won't know where the real vanishing point is. And that's what I'm saying. They're unrelated. So thank you for showing again that you don't understand the difference between horizon and vanishing point. Well, you haven't thank explained you. the difference either. Hey, Kimo, if I understand correctly from these images, uh, even though it looks like there's two separate hor uh, horizons there, what I actually think is happening is the darker line is not a horizon at all. Um, the The real horizon is at the, the boat, the refracted horizon the apparent horizon is at the bottom of the boat but the reason why there's this sudden uh change in color uh i think anyway i don't have complete confidence on this but what i think is happening is because of the the refraction lifting things further away up it's causing the fresnel effect uh to be more sharper more apparent and the fresnel effect is that you know as light uh skims objects at steeper angles so as this happens, like as things move further in the distance, you get more ref reflected light uh, bouncing off. So you get the water that is much lighter due to the Fresnel effect. And because it's been lifting, lifted up, it, that transition is much sharper. Maybe. Add maybe. to that the uh, cloud. Maybe. But in order to find your um, vanishing point, you've got to locate the physical horizon. Because if that's changing, then uh, you won't know if you're looking at a physical, at the vanishing point or not. Well, we're, we're not looking at the geometric horizon, but we do know how much uh, refraction tends to vary. So we can say with a certain degree of confidence that the uh, apparent horizon is more or less where the ge uh, geometric one would be. There's no reason to say that it would be significantly off or unpredictable. Well, that's the point. It is significant off but it's not it's miles off and that <laughs> that's the whole point of the black actually, swan actually what it looks like is a is a wave going all the way across the thing there the uh, limit you, you can know, see Dan for a one foot observer and, and is one hold on one second two miles you know, it looks physically. like there's just fog in between the two and it's not the actually one of those raised up no images further. at all that's regularly the limit. on the horizon. It can be nearer, closer them. on a board, but not and further. A wave cresting. It could be both. It can be nearer or farther. And farther. No, it cannot. This, this, this mirage case that you're uh, looking at right now is a rare case where it's further. No, not the geometric horizon cannot be move, cannot physically move. Of course, the, move. Geom the geometric horizon is just the geometric horizon. That doesn't move. But you're right. That the, the apparent horizon can be nearer or further from the geometric one, more or less. And you, if you want to be more certain about where the geometric one might be, you just you know observe the same location over varying conditions, and it will average out to where the geometric one is. Do I need to average uh, out anything? It's not 
quite true. The average is not going to be where the geometric is. You don't need to yeah, average almost, anything out. You've got the measurement. It's almost you know exclusively exactly how much is how much the uh, oh my radius is. You know the height of the observer, and you measure straight to the point where the geometric horizon. There's no average taken here, Dan. The average would be for your apparent horizon. So you can figure out well something. That, but with the geometric horizon, there's no calculations, guessing, average. It's either there or it's not. So in the average case, light is looming. So the, the geometric horizon will be closer on average than what you see. Right. But my main point is, Kimo, is that we understand how refraction works and how temperature will affect refraction. So we can use that to deduce where the geom geometric horizon would be. There's no reason to say that, oh, there's looming or there's refraction, so therefore we can never know where the geometric horizon is. That's just silly. You're struggling to get the argument. I get it. No, I, I more feel to like point. I that pretty clearly. Yeah, yeah and, you're just uh, being confused, that's all. You're Physical still confused. Physical horizon can be no further. That's it. That's a false statement. No How? How what? can the physical point yeah, the physical, further? Yeah, sure, sure. The physical one, but the apparent one could be more or less. But the physical one cannot move. Of course. The physical one is just the physical one. Right. So if we can see a lot further around the corner than is allowed, like if it's an actual corner, that's a corner, there's things around it, around the curve, around the corner, same thing, c -c corner curve. Now you're saying when somebody's like around that, we're able to see all the way, it's like stretching your neck, all the way around that corner curve. That's not yes, possible. The limit, the limit is 1.22 no. miles. The, the, the limit I is I know not... You met I know you didn't hear what I said earlier, or you pretended not to, but looming is the vastly common case. That's what makes it possible to see a little bit further than you would expect just geometrically. We have an atmosphere. No, you've got no idea how it works. Your geometric horizon is in its fixed position. Then things beyond that will loom up. The physical horizon doesn't move. There's one location. Then whatever's looming beyond it will, do, will loom beyond it. Now you're saying Wait, another uh, horizon is there's looming. There's no spot where looming just starts happening. You're, you're saying another horizon is looming beyond or refracting beyond the physical geometric horizon. That's just nonsense. Kimo, oh, oh, read that text that I've highlighted in that image, please. Uh, the geographic horizon is the apparent boundary between the Earth and sky. Apparent. Yes, no one says they're colliding. It is apparent. You're right. Wow. Well done. Good research. Thank you. There's no such thing as a geometric horizon. It is apparent. Uh, can Brian, you shout, please? I didn't understand it. For fuck's sake. You keep oh, going oh. over the same shit for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, yeah louder, louder.